What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are starting at 6 o'clock in the morning. Today is a different kind of video because this is something I've never really felt comfortable doing and that is hosting a car meet. Something I've been saying for the past 7 to 8 years and uh, long story short we finally, finally are going to do it. Um, the only reason I had the confidence to do it is because of my boy Johnny over here. So shout out to him. I've been saying I want to host a car meet. He's like just do it for the past 7 years. And uh, We're doing it today. <laughs> he's done a few himself. Uh, I have never done any. I just super scared uh, because you know, you ever heard of the thing where people host a car meeting and like, well, ever see people like host a birthday party and they invite yeah. the whole class and then no one shows up or like one person and he reserved the whole hall. So <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's everyone's right. fear. But anyways, today yeah. it's gonna be pretty crazy. We have the E91 M3 freshly cleaned up, ready for the event. We have the Porsche sitting over there. Jonathan's car, we got fully wrapped up. Um, we actually did, uh, what's it called? Vinyl Frog, right? Vinyl Frog wrap on that. That video actually hasn't came out yet, so you guys get a little bit of taste of that. You're gonna be seeing it at the event. It is the green car in the video, just in case you guys can't really see it out in the dark right now. We got stuff, we got the booth kind of set up right here. We're gonna bring this out a little bit. We got some cool little, you know, little mods just to showcase people what we do here, which is part at BMW. And then we have a clean little lineup right here. We have an F80 M3 competition package with the red extended leather here for part out. We have a BMW IA, um, for the most part, perfect interior. We're gonna have you guys actually be able to actually jump in here, sit in the interior, and actually see why I like the i8. The interior is pretty sick. I think it's pretty rad. The way the doors open for now, a $40,000 car, I think is pretty rad. So you guys will be seeing that. Literally, you guys will be able to sit in this car um, right in front of the shops. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And then we also have another, this is not my brother's, another M4 CS. Um, which is pretty crazy. Again, the interior is absolutely perfect in this car. We already sold the steering wheel, so <laughs> we have a jank wheel right there. Um, but yeah, this is a CS, as you guys can tell. So it's pretty sick that we got another one of these in. But yeah, super excited, guys. Let's go ahead and get these cars out for you guys. We'll be seeing you guys over at the event. And if this video goes up with only one person here, guys gotta support your boy next time. But if you all are here, I love y'all. <laughs> And guys, about an hour and a half later, we got things set up. The i8 is chilling like a villain. We got the little booth right here, got the merch, got the coffee, the donuts. We're pretty much ready. We got Erlon over here. Finally, bro. I don't know, did you announce it or no? Announce what? Am I allowed to say it? Yeah, I got nobody oh, Bro, to congratulations, bro. So you finally got an M3, an Alpine white M3. And of course, it is a manual. So this thing is a super, super, super clean spec. Eventually, you already know he's gonna throw in the red interior. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. We also have something that's also really rare right next to it, which is an M Performance E90 LCI. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. I actually, I actually, I know for a fact I've never seen one of these in person. What is that actually? I just noticed that behind the grill. 
What like is that? $2,000 radar system and built in. Oh, yeah, or aftermarket? Aftermarket, but oh, it's only in the <laughs> We'll take it. We got Dylan right here with this clean F30. This thing is absolutely slamming. It was pulling up over here. I'm pretty sure I almost ripped off his rear end, but it looks super clean. We we're getting ready for the event. Everyone here is helping us set up, so shout out to everyone. We got the E91 M3 chilling like a villain. We got the caution tape around the F80 M3 competition. This thing is going to be such a good donor car for our wagon build. I'm super stoked for that. And then we also also have the CS just chilling like a villain. Ooh, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. We already sold the steering wheel if you guys are wondering what's going on there. Don't mind that. We're still in business. So that's what that's what matters. And last of all, we got Jonathan's E92 M3 in the Porsche. At this point, guys, we're just waiting for everyone to turn up. I am super excited for this. Hopefully. It's not gonna just be one or two cars, fingers crossed, because this event, we spent a lot of time setting up. And again, shout out to everyone that helped set this thing up. I am super stoked for it. One more for the cam, one more for the cam. If you guys want, park behind the, these cars right here. And guys, this is about a week later in the car. I'm just trying to record an outro, but uh, long story short, I'm super happy with the turnout of the event. Um, I would be lying to you guys if I thought literally nobody was going to show up. But thank the Lord you guys proved me wrong. I think there was over about 50 cars um, when it came to like people coming and going. Not all at once, but that is quite a bit of cars for our first ever event being held. And I'm super grateful for that. So thank you for every single one of you guys that came out for this event. Hopefully the next time it'll be actually more planned out. And uh, it'll be more of something that a lot more of you guys can come out to. Uh, which, you know, we'll definitely be doing in the near future. Especially when we get some more crazy builds completed and at the shop and something that we can showcase to you guys me and jonathan talk about how we should start going out to some of these events and just start meeting some of you guys it stops you know just being a little confined space uh in our lives it's so easy to just get caught up in work and just to focus on what we're doing then to forget about youtube and forget about how we even got to this business to begin with it was all because you guys like this business would not be started if it wasn't for you guys so i really want to be able to like give back in some ways or at least go to some events and meet some of you guys and just have a good time so long story short that is the plan that is the vision for down the line um hopefully when some more bigger uh bmw events or like if for example like being an invasion went up this year hopefully we'll be again next year and uh any other major event we'll try to meet you guys there i think that's something that 
uh, I, I definitely owe you guys. For everyone that helps out the meet as well, thank you guys so much. I think it's gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Hopefully in the next video, um, it's gonna be a little bit of an update on the F31 and actually potentially another car. I ended up getting another car uh, that is quite unique and um, doing that more for a flip, but it's also quite unique and I wanted to show you guys. I've been doing some kind of flips here and there for the business on you know business time and just behind the scenes, but some of these cars are kind of cool. I wanna show you guys, especially if it's a BMW like this one is. So it's a pretty sick car. I'm definitely gonna be rebuilding. I definitely think it needs to be hashtag save BMW. Uh, so that being said, you guys will be seeing a video on that here in the near future as well. I'm trying to get on top of the videos. It's just super hard to really manage my time when I'm you know running a business, doing a YouTube channel, and I have a family family, a precious child. Um, so God bless, you know, for everything in my life, by no means am I complaining, but it's just really hard to uh, manage everything at the same time and just try to be the best father while a great businessman, but also a YouTuber, if you guys know what I mean. It's just, it's, it, it's, it's difficult, but it's possible. And I'm gonna try my best to make it work because it's, it's what I want in life. I don't wanna have any regrets. Uh, and long story short, if the son you want in life, if you really want it, you'll make it work. So without further ado, you guys, <laughs> I guess I just want to throw that in there. Uh, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.